Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be going over making marks using value. So value is the lightness or darkness of a color. And we're gonna be trying this out in colored pencils since that's what we're gonna be using for our actual um, final cartoon characters. So we have hatching, cross hatching, scumbling, stippling, smooth shading. For this video, I'm gonna specifically go over hatching and cross hatching. So the goal is to go from dark to light, okay? So we're gonna start with the darkest square here. Hatching is when lines go in one direction. In this case, I'm gonna make them go diagonal. And I'm filling up the square or the rectangle so it looks almost solid, but you still can see the texture of the lines. For the next one, I'm going to be doing a little more space between the lines. And the idea is from a distance, it would look a little bit lighter because there's more space between the lines. and try to really neatly fill in the box. And I'm not necessarily drawing the lines any lighter. It's just I'm leaving more space between them. For the next one, now you want it even lighter. So I'm gonna be leaving even more space. I'm kind of filling in some of those gaps a little bit. And now for this one, it's the lightest. So you would be leaving a lot of space between the lines. So it has a scale, dark, medium, medium light, light. These two are a bit similar. So I'm actually gonna add a few more lines here. Okay, that made it a little bit darker. So you can see it goes from dark to light. Now, cross hatching. I'm gonna try a different color this time. Cross hatching is when they crisscross over each other. So for the super dark section. I'm gonna try filling it in mostly and then going back in this direction and again you want to fill that box in and you, you don't want to fill it in so much though where you can't see the crisscrossing so you want to make sure you can still see how they're crisscrossing over each other Okay, so that would be the darkest one. And you might end up at the end going back and adjusting and making some darker or lighter, um, depending on how they you know, look when it's all done. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna leave more space. I'm gonna start off lighter with the whole thing and then see where I wanna fill in the gaps. So there's definitely a difference between these two. Now I'll fill in some of it. This one, maybe I want to add a little more just to make it slightly darker. And this one, I'll add a little more or two as well. Because again, the whole idea is, and what I'm looking at when I'm looking at this exercise is that each of the four sections look distinctly different. Okay, so that definitely looks darker than this one. Okay. So now let's go to the next light one. Um, so for that one, I'm gonna leave even more space. I'm 
Okay. Now, if you don't have color pencils today for this exercise, you can use regular pencils, but remember you need those color pencils when you do your superhero. So if you forgot them at home, make sure you bring them in. All right, I'm filling that one in a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna do the lightest one, which obviously then I'm leaving a lot of space. And the lines don't all have to be super big. You can do shorter little lines within it. Okay, something similar to that. Now these two look very similar, so maybe I'll darken this one a slight bit. Okay. So again, going from dark, medium dark, medium light, light. 